Good afternoon. It's Sunday, June 30th, 2013. Today I would like to talk to you about a very specific, very special project being featured on my website. It's called Project Playground, the ultimate Gold Award project. The Gold Award is the highest honor that can be achieved by a Girl Scout. And I have met one of the most impressive young women and certainly has to be one of the most impressive Girl Scouts that there is. Her name is Miss Nisi Pate, and I first met her and her mom three years ago. Not surprisingly, and not accidentally, our paths crossed again at the end of April of this year. And after catching up, we both discovered that we were in a position to very much help one another. You see, this project represents everything I am trying to demonstrate, everything I am trying to spread, everything that you have to just experience and show as opposed to just telling you with words. Everything from how our paths cross to the timing of it all to the way and the manner in which the idea entered Miss Nisi's head. I, I just, it blew my mind when I heard of her predicament, which basically is they have to raise $50,000 for a brand new playground to be put into the Science Center, where Nisi spent most of her life growing up. She, in an effort to give back to a place that influenced her life so tremendously that she's now pursuing a, a career, a field that has a ton of emphasis in math and science. She plans on becoming a physical therapist and actually has aspirations to earn her PhD by the age of 22. Now, I've learned after many years that it's certainly not about rushing, rushing, rushing to achieve, but it's not about giving Miss Nisi any advice. This is simply about meeting somebody that without a doubt is already a brighter light in what she understands about how the world works and what is truly important. This girl at 17 years old has worked almost a full year while completing her senior year of high school, while completing her AA degree as well, to bring a project to fruition at a place that she just wanted to give back to. $50,000 for a Girl Scout Gold Award project, I have to guess, is probably about 50 times bigger than most other Girl Scout projects. Miss Nisi Faith, was she at all phased by the magnitude of what she wanted to do? Not one bit. No surprise, this young lady reminds me of me when I was her age. And if there was one thing from her age on and continuing to this day, that I believe is the absolute most limiting thing that has been in my life is the lack of people, the lack of support in our world to really provide an opportunity for somebody this gifted to shine right now. This young woman does not need to earn a degree to prove anything to me. I don't, I don't, she doesn't need to do anything. Because of her, you just, you feel it. It is genuine. It is honest. And all she wants to do is give something back to the community. And what her original plan was involved so much bureaucracy and red tape. And it's an example of what exists in our world when we try to get things done. And if there is one other thing I stand for right now is I just want to do things. Let's just find out how we can work within the boundaries that we have, find out where we can all agree, focus our energies there, and see what happens. 
In this case, it was automatic. Automatic. When I meet with these ladies, and from the moment I reconnected with them, and the multiple meetings we've had since, we focus, we are immediately zoned in. It's 100% positive. It's 100% focused on the same goal. And the biggest key is we all have 100% belief and trust that this is possible. It's possible. There's no doubt it's possible. $50,000 to raise in a city the size of St. Pete for something that is needed for a nonprofit institution to help a young woman, all she gets out of this, and yes, for her it's a very big deal, but all she gets out of this, all of this effort, is a gold award from the Girl Scouts. At least that's what the world would see, right? But we all know, or she, her mother and I know, that it's so much more beyond that. Because the times in which we're living right now, the true power you will see lies in understanding the whole concept of paying it forward and trusting and believing that if we can establish that momentum of paying things forward, and it doesn't need to be straight money, but we need to break away from this, what do I get? What do I get? What's in it for me? That's the attitude that is prevalent in every age right now. I remember when I was teaching my sixth graders and I was asking for a student council representative for, from, our, from our homeroom. And, and they all just looked at me and they said, well, what do we get for it? What do you get for it? You get the honor of representing your class. You get the honor of being a leader amongst your peers. Our kids, our young people don't get that. And when you go into the work world, listen, I've been in a lot of work environments, everything from the corporate world on down to nonprofits, farms, you name it, I've been there. And the most prevalent attitude is, who's getting the credit? Am I getting the credit? What's in it for me? Where's the bonus? What's this? What's that? There isn't, and if we don't break away from that sort of myopic, selfish, kind of closed view, you're just going to see the craziness outside in our world continue. Folks, we have to change the way we interact with one another, socially and in business and in community efforts. This project with Miss Nisi and I and her mom, Miss Cookie, who's been very much involved, you don't raise a 17-year-old young woman who's doing this sort of work for the community unless you're one hell of a mother. And her mom is. This is a project that deserves your investment, your pay it forward investment. The project does, and in my opinion, more importantly, this young woman does. I told her from the moment we reconnected, I'm not investing in the project, I'm investing in you. And you might say, well, what are you getting out of this, Allison? What, what's your interest? And that's what's been so beautiful is we've just been very honest with what, what we're both looking for. The only thing I'm looking for in this project is increased traffic to my site. I am now poised and ready for everything to begin to unfold. Everything that I've been working extremely hard for for this year. And this, I couldn't have, I couldn't have manufactured a more appropriate, perfect demonstration of what I'm trying to be an example of. People that cross paths, we know each other, we like each other, we respect one another, we trust one another, because you feel those things. And then you just see what, what do you have going on in your lives, and let's see how we can combine for the mutual benefit of us both. A win-win. All I'm looking for, because I my website is simply, my company is simply gonna be a conduit of the money being raised. It will go, the $50,000, dollar by dollar, 
is being deposited, and I'm being completely transparent here because this is the first project of its kind. And, and what I am establishing, and I'm going to do a separate video on this, is my own Kickstarter. This arm of my work will be operating very similarly to what Kickstarter is. And I have learned from my first round of investments so very, very much. And all of those lessons now I've put together, and then with this falling into my lap, it became clear as can be what this part of the company, how this will operate for now. And what that means is we're going to try to raise this money. We will be raising this money. We're going to try to do it entirely in St. Pete. The money comes through is going to be held in my business account. And, and we will not spend the money unless we get all 50000 And anything beyond the 50000 goes to scholarships to students that can't afford come, to come to the camps that the Science Center offers year-round, but especially during the times when school was out. And the scholarship will be in Miss Nisi's name. Once the money is raised, the money then will leave my business account, and this is for tax purposes, and go into my personal account. And then I will immediately write a personal check for every single penny raised to the Science Center. And the Science Center then will, will, will pay the man, Mr. Carl. He has, we've got a budget that's part of the PowerPoint presentation that's on my website. The budget is right under $50,000. Everything is in place. Everything is in place. We just need the money. That's all. So, on behalf of Ms. Nisi, on behalf of myself and my company, but more importantly, on behalf of us all, we're working to try to change the way the world operates. And we have to start one person at a time, one project at a time, and we, and we have to believe and trust. We're not asking anybody for $10,000 or for $50,000. I'm asking for just a dollar. Contribute a dollar, contribute 10, contribute whatever you can towards this project, and I can pretty much guarantee you the return on this investment, you will feel it. You will feel it because it's part of something so new that is based only in positivity, in love, in trust, and in a belief that we can create a new earth a new way of working with and living with one another on this beautiful planet that we all share. The violence, the wars, all of that garbage, we can eliminate that. But you have to change your focus and you need to demonstrate this in your own life by starting on deciding where, who, what sorts of things you're going to give your attention to, your focus on, and in this case, your money. So I, I you know, the, the interview speaks volumes, in my opinion. I was blown away when I got home and watched Miss Nisi answer those questions with such eloquence, such poise, such ease at 17 years old. What I don't want for her is a world like what I found when I graduated from college as a super bright light because if you don't fit into the mainstream, and let's face it, a lot of people are trying to fit in and their hearts are elsewhere. We are trying to demonstrate what I hope is to help create different avenues for young people to begin to give back and do in the society what they're capable of doing right now. And the reason why this works, I don't treat her like a kid. I don't treat her any less than what, what I am. We are absolute equals. And like I said, when we're together, it's entirely positive. It's completely focused. And the key is the belief. I know we're going to raise this money. And I know this woman is going to change the world at a very young age, beginning quite possibly with this project right here. I 
thank you for listening. I thank you for anything that you're able to contribute. Every dollar matters.